Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I get a lot of uh, comments about Microsoft accounts regularly. Um, you know, from what I think about them, do I use a Microsoft account in Windows? Uh, and if yes, why? And what are the advantages? And um, you know, and of course, there's all the range of questions and and comments from users. Oh well. Microsoft accounts are there to snoop on you, things like that. Um, so to answer a simple question that's there, which was the uh, the question of uh, the um, Microsoft account, um, it's very simple that I do not, you know, I use one. I use a Microsoft account on my system. I do not um you know i find that it's much more interesting to use windows with a microsoft account when you have multiple computers um because it syncs everything between machines and i love that i love to have access to my files uh from any pc wherever i actually did my uh, file where you know if i wrote a word document saved a picture uh, I just go into any PC and all of them, since they are on the same Microsoft account, through the OneDrive sync, I get that file everywhere. The Also, the very interesting aspect of this is the fact that in the settings, all the settings are uh, transferred to other PCs. So this is kind of cool because it lets me... Um, you know, have the same settings on every machine if I wish. And um, so there's there's a lot of advantages for me that um, simply make me want to use a, um, a Microsoft account. And there's a lot of people talking about the snooping and all. You know, Microsoft does a certain number of uh, checks of what you do for the purpose mostly of ad um, you know, having ads in Windows, which is I always something that I thought is unacceptable. It it puts you know makes Microsoft Windows less of a um, of a serious operating system, we'll say. Um, but for the rest, uh, when I see people say, "Oh well, you know, they're going to snoop on your files and things like that," they don't. They don't even see your files. Uh, it's all um, saved and done in a way that it's an encrypted blob, and um, there's a lot of people that are like, well, you know, it's just like they, they, they can see the stuff. Well, if they could see the stuff, uh, yeah, why is it that if you lose your password and your access to your um, accounts, they actually tell you that they can't do anything to recover your files? It tells you that they can't, they don't have access to it. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of people that think that that is the case, that they're snooping and looking at files and doing stuff. And no, they're not. Somebody asked me also uh, a question about could Microsoft eventually remove the um, user account? Uh, the uh, you know could could Microsoft decide that you won't have the ability to um, you know use Windows without a Microsoft account all the time, and that you won't be able to create a simple user account? that is not a Microsoft account, I don't think Microsoft will ever do that. They will, yes, make it hard for you to go into Windows without a Microsoft account, but once in Windows, um, it is a basic um, feature that is important to have to be able to create user accounts that are not linked to anything. Um, and, you know, you always have that possibility. Uh, I saw some of the comments, people saying, well, I just, you know, create a some fake account and uh, once it's done once i'm in windows uh, i just uh, create a user account and uh, remove the uh, microsoft account from the pc so uh, a lot of people do that but uh, personally i have no problem with microsoft accounts uh, honestly and i think that um and, and as a tech guy over the years um now of course it's more mandatory but um I, I think the majority of people use a Microsoft account. Uh, almost like, like everybody that I know uses a Microsoft account. They just create a Microsoft account because Microsoft asks for the Microsoft account credentials and 
they just you know use some account to log into their PC, and the majority of people just do that. Uh, so when Microsoft removes an option, it's really the tech enthusiasts that are the ones that are complaining because they are more savvy and want things their own way. Um, but the, the regular user doesn't care, honestly, about that. So um, that's, that's my two cents. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.